Chapter 10 Much the Miller's Son A few days later, Robin went out hunting with Little John and Will Scarlet. Late in the afternoon, they saw a young miller walking towards them. The miller was carrying a sack of flour on his back. He was covered with white dust. That is much the miller's son, said Will Scarlet. His father was hanged for hunting the king's deer. Now much has to pay extra taxes to the sheriff of Nottingham. He has no money and his life is very hard. I think we should play a joke on much the miller's son, said Robin. Then we will take him into the forest and give him a good meal. Wait, Robin called to Much as he passed them. Your sack of flour is very heavy. We will help you carry it. I can carry my own sack of flour, replied Much. It's too heavy, said Little John. We will take some of your flour, then your sack will be lighter. You are going to rob me, said Much. Do you know that you are in Robin Hood's forest? Robin Hood will not let you rob an honest man. I do not fear Robin Hood any more than I fear myself, said Robin. Now, we want to look in your sack of flour. Please show it to us. Much the miller's son pretended to be afraid. Please do not rob me, good sirs, he said. I am a poor man. Look in my sack and you will see only flour. The miller put down the sack and opened it. Robin and the others looked inside the sack. Suddenly, Much put his hands into the sack and threw flour into the faces of the men. For a moment, Robin and his outlaws were blinded. They put their hands to their faces and rubbed their eyes. Then Much the miller's son took hold of little John's quarterstaff. He hit Robin and the other two men with the staff. Thieves! Robbers! he shouted and he hit the three men again. Robin Hood will hear about this. Just you wait. Robin Hood will hear that you tried to rob an honest man. Then Robin and his men began to laugh loudly. Wait, wait, stop, good Miller, we beg you, said Robin. I am Robin Hood, and these are my men. You are a liar, said Much the Miller's son, and he hit the men again. The three men put their hands over their heads to protect themselves. Will Scarlet's clothes had turned white with flour. Then Robin took out his horn and blew it three times. Soon his men came running out of the forest. Much the miller's son looked at the outlaws in surprise. He was suddenly very afraid. Please do not fear us, said Robin. You are a great man. Will you join our group of outlaws and live with us in the forest? If you can forgive me for hitting you, said Much, then I will be happy to join you and your group. I cannot live as a miller because the sheriff's men take my flour. How can honest men live in times like these? The outlaws laughed and took Much the miller's son into the forest. And that night they ate and drank and welcomed another man to their group.